Hey guys, and welcome to AFC Curtis. I'm your host, Curtis, and on today's episode, I'm super excited to be interviewing the very first ever Halifax Wanderers signee, fullback Zachary Sukanda. But first, of course, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more content just like this about the Canadian Premier League, maybe consider hitting that red subscribe button. And without further ado, here it is. Hey guys, and welcome to AFC Curtis. I'm your host, Curtis, and I'm super excited to be joined by one of the first ever signings in Canadian Premier League history, Zachary Sukanda of the Halifax Wanderers. How's it going, Zachary? Um, pretty good. Pretty good, man. How about you? You're all right? Just wanted to say thanks for having me on to your, uh, your little show. Uh, I'm really excited to do this, so thank well, you. Th thank you for coming on. I'm, I'm super excited. Uh, you know, Obviously, this is history. I'm getting one of the very first ever players signed in the Canadian Premier League. How does it feel being a part of that history, by the way? You're the first ever Halifax Wanderer player. Uh, it's an amazing feeling. You know, uh, I've been uh, really keen about joining the Canadian Premier League, you know, when I first started hearing whispers and stuff. And uh, for me to be able to, you know, come into the league as one of the first players ever to sign in the league and the first ever player with Halifax, it's massive for me, you know. And uh, I guess for Halifax to have a pro soccer team, and maybe the first signing there, it's a good feeling that I'll always be remembered as the first one. Bit of pressure, but a good feeling. Good feeling. How did it come about? Did the league contact you or Halifax contact you or did you contact the league? <clears throat> so uh, it was a bit of a strange situation. I mean, not strange, but uh, I mean, I was playing last season in Australia when uh, sort of the league started progressing. Right. Um, and I started to see that the coaches were being announced, you know, and... Uh, eventually at one point uh an old coach of mine had uh, sort of just reached out to me and he said like do you have any interest of playing uh, in the canadian premier league and obviously i was super excited about it you know uh, you hear a lot of rumors and for it to finally happen you know you're just excited but he had talked to me about that and he said if you have any interest like i could maybe forward your information to some of the some of the coaches i know and stuff and then we can maybe just take it by ear play it by ear right so we did that and um a couple of weeks later, I got some information and uh, things just sort of escalated. And then I got to eventually to meet Stephen Hart. And then, I mean, the rest is kind of history, right? We know, we know how it turns out. <laughs> yeah. Of course. So why, why come to the Canadian Premier League? Like, you're obviously playing professional. You've played in a bunch of other countries. What interested you most about coming to play in the Canadian Premier League? Well, Curtis, a lot of things, to be honest. Uh, you know, I played five years about in Montreal and that it's not very far from home but you're still away and I was a lot younger there I played a year in France when I was 16 I played a year in Sweden now I played a year in Australia so that distance like you don't really notice it until you're actually away but it really it really hits you and then at the time there's not really an opportunity to, to be playing at home but now that there is the opportunity you really just want to be part of it you know, like for me to come back to Canada and be able to be playing in my home country in a professional league, like there's not really much more that I would I would rather. You know what I mean? Like I could I if even if I was playing somewhere down uh, on the West Coast in, in the States, you know, like at the end of the day, it's not home. You know, it's in North America, but it's still not home. But for me, Halifax, it's uh, it's an hour and a half flight from Ottawa. And for me to be able to get closer with my family and for my family to be able to come watch me play. They haven't seen me play in years. It's just going to be, uh, it's going to be really nice. And I think those are just the main things, you know, being closer to my family and being able to play back home. I think those are just super important for me. What do you know about the city of Halifax? Have you, have you played there in the past or? Um, never played there. Uh, I have quite a few friends that well, either like go to school there. I have family there. Uh, my sister lived there. So I have quite a bit, uh, quite a bit of knowledge on the city, but um, what I do know, I, so I have never been there and I have never played there. But I do know that I've heard, a, I've heard a lot of good things about just the people there. Apparently, the people are amazing. My sister always says the same thing about how it's, I'm going to fall in love with the place. Um, I've heard the seafood is delicious, which I'm super excited for. I'm a big seafood guy, and uh, also like. One thing that I was not really, I wasn't sure what to expect was uh, from the fans. And 
the welcoming I've gotten uh, on social media is is massive, you know, and it's arguably, well, for me, it's already the best fan base uh, in the CPL. And you you should see my in, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook. I've just gotten hundreds of messages, hundreds hundreds of followers, just people, you know, who really want to see soc- soccer in, in Halifax succeed. So that's pretty much what I know about Halifax. But uh, I'm super excited to get down there and be part of the the city and be part of the uh, the fans and everything. Yeah, no, I I'm sure you're also thrilled to play on Wanderers ground. I mean, I mean the whole the whole situation in Halifax yeah. just seems top class right now i mean and the stadium and like they have the fans have made their own little section i'm sure you've seen it but it's called the kitchen and stuff yeah. so it's gonna be really nice plus like i'm used to playing on grass now so when steven told me uh when well when the coach told me uh that they were playing on a natural grass like that was that was definitely very uh interesting for me you know i i bet yeah um so you mentioned steven hart obviously the the manager for halifax wonders what are you looking mm-hmm. forward to the most about working with them? Uh, well, there's a lot. I've uh, I've heard a lot about uh, Stephen Hart and a, literally only positive things. I mean, he's coached for a long time, and from what the sort of the understanding I've gotten from him is that we're gonna really try to play an attacking kind of style of football, and uh, that's kind of something that really interests me. You know, I'm a fullback and I like to get up and down, just bomb forward and whipping crosses, sometimes cut in, have a shot on net, you know, and if that's how we're going to play, which I'm not 100% sure, but uh, uh, if that is the case, like, I'm going to I'm gonna love it. And uh, Steven, I think he's going to be a big, uh, big guy on sort of speed. I think I'm a pretty quick guy, so I think I'll be able to fit into his system pretty well, but uh, we're going to have to take it step by step and uh, see how it goes. What position have you guys talked about? We obviously mentioned you're a fullback. I know you play left back and you play right back. What position um, do you think you'll fit in? Or what position do you prefer to play? Well, that's the one thing about Steven um, that he was he was really like eager about me, I, I guess I would say, is that I'm, I'm quite a versatile player. I've played a lot in the midfield. I've played on the left wing, on the right wing. I've played really all over. I've played, had a little brief stint playing in six. But um, I would say that my main position is a fullback. Whether it's left or right, I'm used to playing on both sides. Uh, but when I play in those roles, on the as my main position, fullback, when I play in that position, uh, it's definitely a very offensive role for me. Um, I think I'm not 100% sure, but I'm assuming he's going to be playing me on the, the left or the right side. But we'll see when preseason starts. So how would you describe your style? You just mentioned you're a bit of an offensive type fullback how how was that a big part of your of your style of play yeah definitely a big style I think one of my biggest qualities is uh getting into the offensive third you know I I train a lot uh after training I I like to whip in crosses you know I just practice crosses left foot right foot left foot right foot all the time cutting in shooting but another thing that's really important to train in that position is is endurance you know so I'm often running before training or after training and I think that's what's one thing that I have that a lot of players don't is just the ability to, to, to really get up and down all game, you know? So I think uh, for me to be able to run 60 meters and not be tired and then be able to get in the final third and not be tired. I think that's a uh, big part of my game, big, uh, big on cardio, you know, and definitely big on getting into the offensive third. How would, what, if you had to compare yourself to a player, how would, which player would you compare yourself to? Danny Alves. Danny Alves. Danny Alves. Yeah, Danny Alves, man. He is. Uh, he's a beast. <laughs> Just gets up and down all the time, all the time. And when he gets into the offensive third, like you'd never think that he's a defender. You know, he he can do things. I, I'm sure you've seen the clip where he makes Ronaldo in the offensive third. You know, but yeah. that's the that's the way I kind of like to see myself play. And when I when I play on the field, like what he does in the offensive third, you, you'd really think he's a winger. And that's sort of my, uh, my, I guess my logic or my way of seeing it, is that defense first. But as soon as I cross that halfway line, like I'm becoming an, I'm becoming an extra winger. So I'm part of the attack. So yeah, Danny Alves for sure. Well, so Danny Alvarez of the Canadian Premier League right here, Zach Sukanda. <laughs> yeah, him, him, Marcelo. I like them all. All the guys that are getting, getting attacked. 
So obviously you play in the last couple of years, you played professional soccer with Montreal, you played in Sweden, Australia recently. How do you feel those experiences will help benefit you in the Canadian Premier League? Um, I mean, I guess one of the benef- like the the benefits of playing all over the place is sort of you get to experience a different kind of play. So you, no matter what the kind of style is going to be, you're going to be able to adjust to it because you're not just used to playing in one one sort of area, right? In the USL, there's, there's one style of play. Then when you go to the MLS and you train with the first team, it's a different style. And then you go to Sweden and it's a much more different. Then you go to Australia and it's a whole different game almost. So I think that I'm now definitely able to uh, adapt to all kinds of ga- like game plays and stuff. And I think that's one thing that's going to be huge because no matter what the game, no matter what the temperature is, I'm sort of used to it all now. And uh, I think that's going to be one thing that I'll be able to bring. And I'm hoping that it's going to bring a lot of consistency into my game and uh, be able to help out uh, the Wanderers. So which which um, of those experiences was your favorite? Um, that's a tough question. I liked everyone had something special, but Montreal has a special spot in my heart because it was a big part of my development. You know, I was there for a long time and I had some really like influential coaches at that time. But things in Montreal... Like it didn't end super well when the team uh, folded, when FC Montreal folded. So that was hard and it was hard for a lot of the players and a lot of them have stopped playing. And then I, I was able to get the opportunity in Sweden and that's basically what kept my career alive, right? At a professional level. So obviously that has a special, special spot in my heart as well. You know what I mean? But Sweden was definitely really cool. It was completely different, different world almost. I went to Sweden and like in the summer there, there was two weeks at a time of the summer, the, the sun almost never went down. So it was obviously interesting to wake up uh, at four in the morning when you have to go to the washroom and the sun is out, you know, it's, yeah. it, it was just a really cool experience. Um, and then going to Australia, I mean, I was in Melbourne, so it's an amazing city, but it's just tons of fun and the training was good and the the facilities were really nice playing on beautiful grass all the time so like i said everything i i can't really give you my favorite but they all are just massive spots in in my career you know so they'll always have something special well zach um so the grateful that you were able to join us you sound like a, a great versatile fullback and i think wanderers fans are going to be super excited to see you up and down the pitch <laughs> Uh, I'm in Winnipeg, so and I have some tickets to Valor, but I'm gonna definitely look out for you when uh, when you come to Winnipeg. And uh, who knows, maybe if you're ever in, uh, obviously we'll be in town. But when you're in town, maybe <laughs> we can do this live. Oh, that'd be great, man! After the after the game against Valor, I'm gonna come look for you. Okay, yeah, after Valor wins, right? Oh, uh, that we're gonna have to discuss again. I, I'm not sure about Thanks. that one. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Zach, for joining us. And uh, if you want to follow Zach on social media, I have his links in the description below as well. And again, thank you, Zach, for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot, Curtis. Talk to you soon. Hey, guys, I hope you really enjoyed that interview. I know I certainly did. Zachary is a great footballer, and I'm sure he's going to work out very, very well in the Canadian Premier League and for the Halifax Wanderers. And I can't wait to have him back on the show. But of course, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more content just like this and help me support this channel, you can do that by hitting that red subscribe button. And if you hit that little bell notification button, you just hit that little thing there and you get notified each and every week when I drop a brand new episode just like this one. So until next time, thank you for watching.